Hey Scruffy. Ready for dinner? So you're lined up kind of early, so I'm about 25 minutes early. Yeah. So I got your meaty pate with real chicken and tuna. And I got some extra kibble for you. So you saw me come out today and uh, you weren't terrified. So that's progress. Okay, so I'll bring out your food, okay? Okay, so I only have one bowl to bring out since I'm no longer bringing up the water at dinner because the raccoon's stealing it overnight. Okay, so you can see the new water I left in the day here. So I'm just grabbing the glove at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to sit in the chair. Oops, didn't mean to scare you. So, yeah, I'm really stressed today for some reason, and I don't know why, but I have this real sense of stress and anxiety, but I don't think anything particularly wrong is going on today, so I'm not sure why I feel such angst. <clears throat> so, got up early, not by intent, but uh, that's just how it worked out. It was cold, well, chilly today. It wasn't, uh, it. Yeah, I think it was cooler than yesterday. Um, I was kind of surprised. Um, <clears throat> I'm still expecting uh, the last of our extended summer, but instead it's starting to cool down. So it was actually kind of cold this morning, and actually throughout the day, actually. I need to wear wet, warmer clothes, but yeah, I'm still still in summer mode. So, want to go out? Actually, well, I didn't really want to go out to exercise today. For some reason, I was just feeling kind of tired, and I felt like I really needed to get a bunch of things done, and. And I actually took a recovery day yesterday because my run the previous day did not go that well. And uh, so I did uh, just pull-ups yesterday. And he bumped his head on my leg. And I figured, yeah, I probably should do something today. So bike day and because it was so chilly I actually decided I needed to go at the hottest point of the day instead of the coolest point of the day so pretty much the last I think six months or so it's always been I need to go out no in the hot or coolest part of the day maybe not six months maybe four or five months though. So we didn't really get spring. We went basically right from winter to summer. We never got our spring. So today almost feels like uh, the spring that we didn't have. But yeah, so worked out that my, oh yeah, I jumped up with uh, both his front paws in the air there.
felt like I could use a break about the same time it was the hottest point of the day today, which was still kind of cool. I was actually debating if I needed to wear warmer clothes for my uh, bike ride, but uh, decided my normal clothes would work. The sun intensity was still kind of high, so you could actually feel the warmth of the sun directly. Um, got aggressive with the uh, chin rub there. Yeah, he's probably locking the pets tonight. So, so I went for my bike ride, yeah, much earlier than I've been doing for the last many months. So it was kind of a different ride. So like traffic patterns are very different at this time of day. And, um, oh, I got to the park and they closed it. So I was disappointed. I'm guessing they closed it due to yesterday's winds. So with high winds, I guess increases the fire danger. Even though it's cold, I guess if there is a fire, the high winds make it spread easily. And, um, Basically, yeah, we've been in, we're always in a high fire danger alert, so it, that never changes, I think. Except for a brief time in winter, and then it goes right from fire danger, moderate. Occasionally, I think I think it actually changed the low at one point this, uh, this winter, but it goes basically from moderate to uh, very high. <laughs> There's almost no in between. And it's very, yeah, very seldom on moderate or even low. And then I don't even know if there's a high. I think it just goes to very high. So I had to use my backup route today. And that has a lot more traffic because the traffic patterns were different today at the time I went. So it was a little more dangerous. And then I decided to go up uh, hill climb number three, which is connected to the alternate back route that I take. And that leads to the not so secret, secret entrance to the park. And they went up there and yeah, there's more traffic. So it's, it's a very twisty, steep, windy road, so I gotta be careful. I don't like going up that one, especially when there's traffic, but didn't have much choice today. But yeah, I went to the secret, or not so secret entrance, and uh, I thought maybe they'd put out signs saying the park was closed, since last time I was there they put out a sign, but no, they didn't put out a sign today, so, and I actually saw somebody walking out of the park from that not so secret entrance, so they didn't and it completely shut it down, at least with the signs. So I'm sure they'd find me if I, they found me in the park, but <laughs> I wasn't going to go into a park. But interesting that, yeah, they didn't put the sign out. So if I ever do end up in the park when it's closed, it'll be because of that, because they didn't put the sign and they didn't know they closed it. So I gotta be careful. And let's see, I got uh, some twigs stuck in my uh, chain today. So that was no major damage, but yeah, that forced me to pull over. Wasn't sure exactly what happened. It was a um, twig. Yeah, I forgot the name of the pieces. It's that piece where the chain hang or the 
it hangs down off the bike and the chain goes around it. And uh, anyway, yeah, a twig got stuck in that part. And so it screwed up, you know, the workings of the bike. Fortunately, uh, I didn't flip over or run into anything, so I was able to pull over safely. Try to figure out how to get the thing out. And it didn't seem to cause any permanent damage. Out. Why are you looking at me? Does that mean you want your food? <laughs> yeah, I think you probably want your food now. It's time to get your food. So another news, let's see, today I got an email from my current internet service provider and they sent me a confirmation that I had canceled my order today, or my uh, service today. Looked like it was a generic, thank you for being a customer, if there's anything we can do to get you, win you back as a customer, you know, let us know. But I didn't cancel it, they terminated my service, and I thought they were supposed to terminate it in, I think two or three weeks from now. So I'm actually very concerned because I don't have a new internet provider yet. So if uh, my videos disappear for some time, it's part because I lost my internet. So I sent an email to ask for an explanation of why are they sending me this cancellation? Because I didn't request it. Um, and I thought I had at least two or three more weeks. And I'm kind of planning on that. So my cable modem did arrive in the mail, so it actually yeah arrived on time. So I'm impressed. It arrived pretty fast, all things considered. Okay. So if I knew it was going to arrive on time, I might have scheduled with a cable company uh, setup sooner but uh, I, need, I wanted a couple extra days just to make sure in case the package got late, lost or redirected or late. <clears throat> so I think they're supposed to come three more days from now. So hopefully I'll have internet <laughs> in that time. I'm actually a little worried too, because yeah, there's also pro you know I'm also anticipating there could be problems getting set up with the cable company. Uh, my nightmare scenario is that well, there's a couple of different nightmare scenarios. One is they just can't set up the service for some reason, something wrong with my wiring or something like that. Uh, my more realistic uh, nightmare scenario is the modem that I bought just bought. They're going to tell me, oh no, it doesn't work with our service, and we're going to have to get a different one. <laughs> And then I'm screwed because uh, it'll take me a time, more time to get another one. So as long as I have two or three more weeks officially left on my existing internet provider, then it may not be a problem because I can just continue using that one. So I'll still have a buffer, a buffer. But if they're actually canceling my service now, I'm, I'm in trouble. I don't have much. Uh, and I, I, yeah, I don't have a safety net if things go wrong. And uh, in my experience, things always go wrong, so. Uh, maybe, that's probably, maybe that's probably why I'm stressed, but I don't think that's actually it. I don't, I don't know. There's something else. He's a mess eater. He just knocked a little piece of uh, pate over on the deck there. Oh, has a piece of kibble in it. So, anyway, I came out this morning. I saw Scruffy was sleeping, uh, I think it's near or under the round table. And uh, I, I had to get, get my stuff going, and I had a 
I wasn't sure if I was going to get really immersed into what I needed to do, so I said I'm going to bring out the water now. I'm not going to wait for him to wake up. And I'll just be quick about it. So I came out, and he heard the door. He woke up, and um, he didn't have the terrified look, so that was a plus. And uh, said hello. He was completely silent. I don't think he meowed once. But as I brought out the water, I think he actually took a few steps forward, so he wasn't running back. So that's another sign of progress. He didn't really come up to me, um, but uh, he did run away. And the fact that he actually got a tiny bit closer is, I think, a little bit of progress. I think, yeah, he was interested in the bowl of water that I was putting down. I think he was probably hoping it was food. So anyway, uh, I put down the water and then said bye and came back inside and then I actually continued filming him from the window and yeah, he took a very, very long drink of water. So I guess he was thirsty from not having the water every night. So I guess I'm going to try to make it a point to uh, bring out the water in the morning so he can drink it. And maybe that'll get him more used to me coming out here. And he won't be terrified as often. So, no idea if the raccoon came last night. So I wonder if he was looking for the bowl and said, Damn it, where's the bowl? Where's my water? So my alternate route, I uh, decided to take a little bit of an extra scenic route. So there are some nice houses in the area on the, the hillside. So um, if I take some detours, I can kind of go through some of those neighborhoods. And yeah, they have some really nice houses. And they got some really nice views. So I was yeah, cycling through some of those uh, areas today. And yeah, it was actually a really nice day. You can still see the smoke though. So it's still smoky in the air, but um, yeah, it was still a really nice view. It was kind of a sunny day still, even with the smoke. Yeah, kind of a blue day. So one one part of the neighborhood I passed through, there was an orange cat, and uh, yeah, I think he has a death wish. He was running towards me, and then kind of like kind of towards me, kind of from the side and kind of behind, and then they ran in front of me, and uh, I, I was applying the brake. Because I was going downhill a little bit, so it's getting um, not great speed, but I had a little bit of speed, and so there was probably a possibility I could have hit him in a room. Stupid cat right in front of me. So yeah, basically, I ran through the street. I was in the middle of the street too, so he ran in the middle of the street, cut me off, and then ran to the other other side of the street, and then. I ducked in somebody's uh, fence or something, backyard. And then, oh, there was a crow. Wait, this is the other day. So, yeah, the, um, I 
Yeah, there was a crow that, um, I think it was dive bombing me. <laughs> so, it was right in the sun, so I couldn't get a good look at what it was doing, but yeah, it looked like it flew directly overhead of me and then, like, flew upwards to slow itself down, and then I thought I saw something drop to the ground, and so I was wondering if it was trying to poop on me. Triumph the insult comic dog. Uh, fortunately, I think he missed. Gave you extra food, Scruffy, so that's what you're expecting. Okay, I'll pull out the ball. I think I think he missed uh, some food under the ball. Not really. Nope, he's taking off. Okay, well, I guess I'm going in. And he has a couple of smears, and there's a big smear on the golf ball. But it, yeah, I guess he doesn't want to stick around. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.